I'm Samantha Deitcher for InvestmentPitch.com. Recently, Ted Ohashi attended the 2013 Coal Association of Canada Conference and Trade Show in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. In this interview, Ted speaks with the Honourable Diana McQueen, Minister of Environment and Sustainable Resource Development for the province of Alberta. The Minister discusses the role of Alberta in reducing global warming and the technology fund that has been established to help fund new developments. As long as the technology can be used in Alberta, applications are accepted from around the world. Coming to you from the uh, Canadian Coal Association Conference in Vancouver, um, I'm pleased to have with me the Honourable Diana McQueen, uh, who is from Alberta and is their uh, Minister for uh, the Environment and uh, Renewable Resources. Diana, welcome. Thank you for having me. Um, I, I want to talk to you about coal and um, what, what everybody in the industry has been telling me is a bum rap, that, that coal is this terrible uh, thing that is contributing to global warming. I mean, wh what are some of the things that, that Alberta is doing to combat that? Well, Alberta was one of the first jurisdictions in North America to uh, legislate in, um, greenhouse gas emission reductions to put a price on, uh, with regards to reducing emissions and put a price on the carbon fund and to have some offsets um, with that. So we have right now where it's $15 per ton for large emitters, over $100,000 ton per tons per year to encourage um, technology. Um, so that the, the fund uh, does not go into general revenues, it's a technology fund because we know it's technology that's going to actually um, see the emission reductions, whether that be C through CCS or other uh, factors. And so um, companies can uh, automatically change their technology and not uh, um, emit um, over 100,000 tons or they can pay into the tech fund or use a variety of offset credits. So Alberta has been a leading jurisdiction in that. We know that coal is a, is a base load supply for us and so it's important though that we take care of our emission reductions for our province and that's the first thing that we did um, back in 2008. Okay, um, now the technological developments, are you seeing some uh, things coming through the pipeline? Right, and, and so we know that it's going to take some um, a longer time for us with regards to, to coal and some of the other projects. Um, when we look at carbon capture and storage, so CCS is really going to be something that's going to be a change and a game changer uh, for the industry. And so it's so important to have the research that we're doing in Alberta, um, that people are doing in North America and globally, because we know uh, the time will come when the technology will be able to um, meet where it's affordable to add that technology as well and so that's where this uh, technology fund really looks at research and innovation the one thing about our technology fund that's very different than other places is anyone from around the world can apply to it mm -hmm. but the uh, technology has to be applicable in Alberta because obviously we want to reduce our emissions right now uh, speaking of CCS I understand there's a uh, an important project that is uh, about to get started um, not in BC, not in Alberta, but Saskatchewan. Um, are you familiar with that project and you guys are watching it? Well, there's a project there in Saskatchewan and we're cer certainly building two. Uh, we've invested $1.4 billion in Alberta um, with regards to CCS. Uh, two projects that will be um, built up by 2015. And so uh, we like the work that's happening in Saskatchewan. We like what's happening here. And it's not about being competitive with each other on this. Finding the technology and unleashing that technology so it becomes affordable, we all win with that. So we look to our neighbours in Saskatchewan and around the world to see how we can all do better to bring that technology forward so we can actually apply that to our coal plants and other projects. Great. Well, thank you very much for taking the time with us this evening. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. For more information, please visit the Alberta government website at www.gov.alberta.ca, contact Minister McQueen's office at 780-427-2391, or email esrd.minister at gov.ab.ca. I'm Samantha Deitcher for InvestmentPitch.com.